The incident you're about to see involves a man who police say was drunk and fighting with his girlfriend. The police chief says he asked the state to investigate when he saw what his officer did. Put your hands out where I can see them. Put your hands behind your back. That's James Ibarra being arrested after his girlfriend told police he pushed her. Ibarra has blood on his hand where, according to the police report, he'd been drinking and punched out a window. Ibarra later pleaded guilty to misdemeanor domestic battery and other misdemeanor charges. A resisting arrest charge was dropped, but it's what happened during that arrest in August that prompted an investigation into Officer James Breeden, who has since retired. I didn't punch anything. Oh. Stand up. Now. I hope you're happy. I'm going to be now. happy in a minute. Stand up. That's from Officer Breeden's body cam. This is a look at it from another officer's camera. According to the police reports, Officer Breeden said a bar lunged at him with his head. And that's when he slaps a bar in the face. Go! We slowed the footage down to get a better look. Are you punched? You didn't get punched. You punched me. Bro. I didn't punch you. I slapped you. When Ibarra starts banging his head on the window on the police car, the situation intensifies. I didn't do anything. I fixed to bust your ear right off your head. You, next time you hit, next time you hit that glass, this is not going to be good for you. When officers try to close the door, they can't. Get in, ah, okay. Get in there. Put that leg in there. Put that arm in there. Put ah, it in. Okay. Get it in. What the? And when Ibarra doesn't comply, get it in. You can't get it in. Why are you kicking me? Get it in. What? In there. Officer Breeden in. then grabs his leg. Put it in. Put it in. Put it in. Uh, you put it in. Has he known pepper spray? You give me my nuts. You're right. Give me my nuts. Why did you do that? I know. Put your foot in. Eventually, a bar's legs are tied to his hands, and he's taken to jail. It hurts. Right. Ah. Ah. It hurts. That's good. That hurts. I'm sorry. The whole thing lasted more than 40 minutes. When things like this happen within the city, and they happen in every city, your first protocol is to refer it out to another set of objective eyes that are going to look at it and determine whether or not a crime has been committed. Barling City Attorney Matt Ketchum says state police were called to investigate if Officer Breeden went too far. The case was sent to Sebastian County Prosecuting Attorney Dan Shu, who decided there was not enough evidence to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that a felony had been committed. The prosecutor said he considered charges such as aggravated assault and second degree battery, but decided the actions did not meet the requirements of state law. Ketchum says he considers the case closed since Officer Breeden retired and is no longer on the force. That satisfied us uh, at the city that whatever issue there might have been uh, was resolved by him uh, resigning or retiring and leaving the force. So as far as I was concerned, uh, the matter from at least a criminal perspective was ended. The city attorney would not say if he thought Officer Breeden violated department policy. When I talked with Officer Breeden, he would not comment about what happened that night. In Barling, Brett Rains, 4029 News.